Hey everybody, and welcome back. You're in my microwave, again, because I found out that this works. Let's talk about cancer. I have cancer. I have skin cancer. I got a call from the doctor yesterday, and he said, you have squamous cell skin cancer on my chest. I had something removed a couple weeks ago, and they got the report back. And I have to go see a dermatologist. And I know that I have more. The doctor only removed one spot. I will show you. Look at my chest. You see all this? I had this spot removed already last year. And now I have more. They're coming. I have some up here. They're devouring my chest. Let me tell you how I got these. Back when I was in my 20s and 30s, early 40s even, I went tanning in a tanning bed all the time. I would go daily sometimes because it was warm and it felt good. That's one reason. And it looked really good. I had my chest at the time. It was gorgeous. There were no spots. There were no nothing. It was brown. It was beautiful. And it, I just liked it. I mean, it was beautiful and I liked it. My arm, I was just brown. I was really, really brown all year round. And I have fibromyalgia. Going in the tanning bed was more, my dog is barking. Macy? Macy? Hey, I'm vlogging, stop. I don't think the dog cares that I'm doing this. It was warm and when I drove a school bus and I froze get off my school bus at 9.30 in the morning and I would go right to the tanning bed, stay in the tanning bed 20 minutes or more, and then be warm all day long. I would do that every day, every day. As my mother was saying, you're gonna get skin cancer. And I went, yeah, okay, right, mom. My mom, again, where are you going, tanning? You're gonna get skin cancer. Well, guess what, I have skin cancer. I now have skin cancer. So, all of you out there, that are frequenting tanning beds, stop. Just stop. Stop now. Just stop. Figure out another, get an electric blanket. That'll keep you warm. Stay out of the tanning beds. Tell your kids, stay out of the tanning beds. Don't go tanning, because you're going to look like this one day. Look at this. I have a spot on my chin that they need to address. You can see I have a spot on my nose. That's going to be addressed, and look at back here. Can you see that big spot? That's going to be addressed. And I got some more on my back. So stay out of the tanning bed, people. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Now I'm on my way to pick up my mother. My mother has some grocery shopping that she needs to do. It's Tuesday. So we were hoping that maybe some of the stores restock I don't know and we're gonna go to a local grocery store not a big chain I hope in that it's all Aldi. Aldi's it's a big chain what am I thinking okay we're going to Aldi's in our town save a lot we're going to save a lot I'll get this right I will get this right maybe we're going to save a lot yes we're going to save a lot in our town where we're going and I have, this is the 91% or 92% alcohol in my spray bottle, Clorox wipes, and I've got a package of rubber gloves. You could buy these at the store. Disposable gloves, can you see them? Nope. Disposable gloves, latex, I got those. I got a couple, but they were a dollar for like 10 of them, so I thought I'll, I'll get those. But my mom said last week, because she's been getting Nutrisystem delivered, so she's been getting food delivered, and it stops within the next two weeks. So now they need food. They need real food. Not that Nutrisystem isn't real food, but they need actual food. So I told her, I will go with you. Oh, there's the police and the Ohio Edison truck. Wonder if the power's out somewhere. I hear that uh, Utah just had a 5.7 earthquake. I know there's quite a lot of people that have YouTube channels out of Utah. I hope they're all okay. I do hope they're all okay. Wishing them well. 
But back to the save a lot is where we're going. I told my mother I'm gonna go with you because I don't want you to go by yourself. We'll go that first of all. I'll spray your buggy down with alcohol. My buggy will wear gloves. We'll be cautious. We'll go home. She has antibacterial soap. We'll wash our hands and anything that we need to before I, well, I might spray stuff with alcohol before we take it in her house even because from what I'm understanding this virus lives on like plastic and cardboard and I, I don't remember how long but it's it's like a day or two or hours I don't know google it <laughs> but it lasts quite a while my dad has emphysema and he is on oxygen all full time so we have to be cautious with that very cautious with that so I told her I'm going to go with you which I have a compromised immune system so what are you going to do what are you going to do I don't know but you know what I guess these next couple videos is just going to be me hanging out and talking my husband did finish another one of our beds last night he did do that the raised garden bed he didn't make he only made this one one board high if you go back and see my video about the raised garden beds I will link it below if I remember the second video where he actually has it put together it's pretty high so we're going to he only made it one board high which is fine with me so the back one's a little taller than the front one because he's looking at how deep that thing is and he's going, that's a lot of dirt that I'm going to have to shovel and put in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And I can't help him. There's, I, I would love to help him. I would love to. If I could, I would. But I can't help him shovel. I could, I could plant. I could weed. I could do all that stuff. But for the big manual stuff, I, can't, I just can't do it anymore. If I do do it, do do, I'm in bed for days because I will pull something in my back. So I learned to my limits. I don't enjoy my limits sometimes because there was a t point and I had a garden. I had a really pretty garden down like the side of the garage, and I rode it till the whole thing by myself every year. I did. I did all that stuff. I love to do that stuff. I mean, I help roof a house. I. I helped an Amish man put a floor in. Don't ask me about that. That's a story. But I, I've done a lot. Of, I, I'm, a, I'm not one to sit. And I'm learning. I'm learning to just sit. Sitting is better. And sometimes I can't even sit because when I sit, the pressure on my spine is, is just bad. And I have to lay. So I'm learning my limits. No, I know my, I'm accepting my limits. You gotta accept your limits. Know your limits and just accept them. It's a new way of life. The emergency grocery store run? Yeah. That's what we're calling this. But we've taken, I showed them all of our precautions. Her purse is loaded full of stuff too. I don't, she's got a baggie. Show them your baggie. And you know what we need to do before we take this stuff in the house, we need to wipe it off when it's we need to wipe it off like some of it what we can because it lives on plastic and cardboard the virus does for I, I don't know I heard that on the news today I can't believe all the news reports there's so many I decided today I'm not gonna really have my TV on all right so we're off to the grocery store now well report from the grocery store they have chicken breasts 39 cents a pound. T-bone steaks. $3 a pound. Porterhouse steaks. $3 a pound. So, I have food at home, but they have a ton of food here. Meat and stuff, so I just stocked up on that. They have milk. They have bagels. They don't have bread and they don't have eggs. That's the only thing that we can't find. And I got dog food and I'm trying to push my buggy. <clears throat> I got a really good meat bargain in there. $3.99 a pound 
for porterhouse, T-bones, all their steaks, all of them were $3.99 a pound. And then she said normally they're what, $7.99 or $8.99 a pound? And then she said this is going to be our everyday price right now. So anybody in the area, check out a save a lot and see what how much your meats are. I got four packages. I don't know, but I got it enough to freeze them. I'm just going to freeze them. I don't know. I'm steak hoarding, okay? I'm steak hoarding. And chicken hoarding, because it was only 39 cents a pound for that chicken breast. 3 dollars or 39 39 Three, cents oh. a pound for the chicken breast, yeah. I did not see that. I showed it to you. I know, but it's, I wasn't It didn't thinking. register? No, and I have no room in the freezer. Well, you could have put it in my freezer. Well, if you need chicken, I have chicken. <laughs> they didn't have any eggs, though. And we didn't see anybody coughing. We didn't see anybody sneezing. We didn't see anybody that looked like they were sick at all. And we didn't see anybody wearing any gloves or taking precautions either. Just us. We're the only ones that wipe the buggies off. No, there was one lady when I was walking in there. There was one lady that um, wiped her, wiped, kind of wiped her buggy, her, where you hold it, the, hand, the handle, kind of wiped her handle off and then just kind of threw her wipe in the buggy. Which I had to pick a dirty wipe out of my buggy. People throw your wipes away or keep them. Here's my gloves and my wipes right here. Turned inside out and I'm going to throw my own garbage away. Throw your garbage away. Don't leave it in the buggies. That's gross. Just gross. So anyway, this is my day and I'm probably going to end the video here because I've been talking a lot and I'm sure you're tired of hearing me talk. All right, for those of you that have been following the painting at the parents, we painted because of this picture. Well, look at these curtains that she found. They are, they go perfectly with that picture. They're really pretty, let's see. They're very pretty. The furniture hasn't come in yet and she's looking at new lamps now, so that might take a minute, but. That is, that is really pretty. I really like the picture with the curtain. We talk. So everybody stay healthy, stay safe, stay in, go out when you have to, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.